let's go through the whole process that it takes to get a vehicle in paint right now i am picking a color so if you can decide choose left or right help me decide here what vehicle am i spraying i don't remember this was a long time ago my google drive account has been acting funny so it's been hard to save all the videos into the cloud usually i keep everything very organized and this one is just sitting in my phone it's been a few weeks but i finally got the drive account working but i forgot what this vehicle was but i do remember it's a fender repair a front bumper repair and we're blending the door here i am masking up the vehicle gonna make sure everything that i don't want paint to go on is covered back mask everything i can bag it tape it down make sure that everything is sealed up nice and tight i don't want overspray getting in anywhere using q1 tape this is an older video I still have the american blue went to the yellow q1 it's nice stuff i'll check out that mask job it's pretty tight tight mask clean paint jobs got everything taped to the floor i find that helps a lot with keeping dust down and out of your panels don't forget to mask off inside of your jams on your fender and door check out that foam tape in the door handle holes that's just foam tape the main purpose is for indoor jams and whatnot but i find it's not very good for that but it's really good for door handle openings just like that just roll it up and stuff it in there there's the bumper it's usually just repair and then also repair all the rock chips and whatnot because people aren't happy if you don't paint everything and make everything look like a million bucks, even though they should be paying for it. But it's just a bit of a freebie. You're a good customer. You're going to get more freebies out of me. If you are a pain in the ass, you will not get any freebies because you are too difficult. So be nice. If you're nice, you will get a lot more things in life. Luma 3 Exodus Sun Pro Light. I use the OP which stands for optimized pressure. It is much more suited for my paint style than an HVLP. 1.3 tip, laying down sealer. On the color that we chose, the system tells me to go with a G7. They use a G1 to 7 scale, 1 being white, 7 being a very dark gray, and everything in between is different shades of gray as kind of the ground coat for your color, helps get your color coverage quicker. And then you have a better color match. And you can, on some colors, play with the ground coat color and that will affect your base coat in the end. Something like this, I think you'd be crazy not to go G7. If you don't know what it is, try and mix your sealer, your whites and your blacks together to closely match whatever color you're spraying. So this G7 looks almost identical to the color of the vehicle itself. A Little bit of spot blender to soften the edges of the sealer. Spray your sealer so it lays down smooth like your clear coat at the end. And I can guarantee you'll have great success with glass and oak paint jobs and having next to no orange peel. Yeah, that sealer's looking real sharp. I think this is a Hyundai. I think it is a Hyundai. It looks like a Hyundai to me. Could be wrong, but I don't know. PPG Envirobase. First coat going down, I get it on. Second coat is an orientation coat. And then if I have coverage, I hit it with a control coat. If I don't, and it's like 90% of the way there because I find a lot of this Envirobase, it's two to three coat coverage. But lots of the times it's like you need just an extra little bit more. So I mix my base 50-50 with wet bed and then I spray it again. That helps keep my metallic orientation. And then I use that almost as a blender within the cup to help blend out the paint color that much better. And then lastly, you follow it up with a control coat. I kind of go over it very lightly. If you spray your control coat and it looks wet, you're doing it too much. I do a bit of a double control coat I step back probably two feet, no, nah, not even two feet. Triple the distance of what I spray at, drop the pressure down about 20%, maybe 25% less pressure, and just float it on so it just nicely sits on there. 
The control coat can even help just a little bit with your blend if you have a really, really tough color. So you can use your control coat in that sense as well. But we are going to get this thing laid down. The control coat has enough bite into it that it's actually going to stick to the base coat that you put on. I wouldn't worry about it not adhering and having issues later on down the road. It is designed to go on that light. If you're spraying a solvent born, because this is waterborne paint, a solvent born paint is a totally different method for doing a control coat. So don't do a control coat if you're using solvent born paint like this. This is for waterborne paint only. Getting the mask put on, always wear your PPE. Got Matrix AG40 in the Exodus OP 1.5. This is a awesome combo for paint gun and clear coat. And really just spray it on nice and smooth. Four to five inches away from the panel, 75% overlap. This is the first coat, second coat, if you want to lay down better. Keep everything the same, but just tighten up your overlap just a little bit. And I find that gets me the best results for laying it down really nice and really smooth. The only true way to get a true show car finish is you're gonna have to block sand and polish. But if you can avoid as much orange peel as possible in the process, you can make your jobs look like a million bucks with way less effort down the road. But this is just an insurance job. You try and make it look just like it was pre-accident condition. Typically, I try and do it as best I can because the clear coat does shrink as it dries. Every clear does that, which will end up adding a bit of orange peel. So if you put it on too smooth in a couple of days, it's going to shrink on you anyways. And then you're going to have that bit of texture that's going to match the OEM finish or just be slightly better than the OEM finish. That's a better way to, th to do is slightly more than less because if you have too much orange peel, people are definitely going to notice. But fresh off the gun, looks like an absolute million bucks. Really happy with this end result. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with this one. Nice and clean. Color blended out beautifully. The color to the hood actually matched spot on. I know some people worry about the fender to the hood, but insurance doesn't pay to blend the hood. So you really got to make sure you do pick the right color like you did at the beginning. And do a spray out card and always double check, triple check everything before you send it with clear coat. Because once you put clear coat on it, there's no going back. Then it's a matter of sanding it down and having to redo it all again. But hopefully you gathered something from this video. If you did, check out my other videos. Maybe you'll gather some more information on how to paint in the other videos. And if there's anything you would like to see, comment, let me know, and I will make a video about that.